Here at Richardson's, we're really looking forward to welcoming you aboard for your holiday. Before you start your trip, we'd like to take you on a tour around the outside of your cruiser so you know what to expect when you arrive. All cruisers are supplied with a life belt for use in case of man overboard. Never reverse the boat up to a person in the water. Throw the life belt to within arm's reach. You need to ensure you keep the lifeline clear at all times. The gas cylinders which supply gas to your cooker will be stored under the deck. You shouldn't need to worry about these during your trip, but if for any reason you are concerned there is a gas leak on board, you should turn the switch in the gas locker to off, ventilate the cruiser and call Richardson's for assistance at any time, night or day, on the number in your captain's manual. Access to the diesel and water tanks are through cabs set into the side of your cruiser. It is very unlikely that you will need to refuel during your holiday. When filling up with water, it's really important to check that you're using the correct tank. The diesel cap has a red ring, water is blue. We recommend you fill up with water each day at any hire boat yard. Some pubs and public states will also offer water facilities, but private marinas are likely to be more expensive. The mud weight fitted at the front of the cruiser should be used to moor up on non-tidal broads only. To use the weight, bring the cruiser to a stop. Lower the weight hand over hand until it touches the bottom, allowing a small amount of slack. Then, tie it off on the bollard. It's important not to throw it as there's a risk of falling overboard, and it'll also make it harder for you to pull up. Some of our cruisers are fitted with electric mud weights. Check your captain's manual for more information. You may be asked to complete daily checks before you start the engine. You should check the water and oil levels. You will be informed how to do this on your trial run. We recommend you don't open the engine locker when the boat has been running as it'll be extremely hot. If you have any concerns about your engine or any other aspect of your cruiser at any time during your holiday, you can call us for advice and assistance on the number in your captain's manual.